Okay, so we're going to draw a bear today. Um, and this is for Jesse Beck Elementary's Strolling Art Show. Um, and if you go to my website, you can have your own art show. We have this little printable that you can print out and customize right here. Lovely. Um, so, and then um, we're going to draw a bear that um, I drew for this game, Grandpa Beck's Bears and the Bees. And it's a color matching game. And you match the sides. And then um, when you match the wild, the bear matches up to the wild because he wants to eat the honey. So, before we start, let's make sure we have the right colors. So we have a little scrap paper here. Mm -hmm. So you guys want to get, make sure you have a brown. Oh, see? That's why we're testing. This brown is totally orange. I think I'm brown. That one's dark brown. This one's brown. Oh, I like that one way better, even though it's broken. Um, and then like a peach or a tan. If you have tan, that would be the best. But peach works also. An orange. Um, and a black. Yeah, you know, sometimes there's those crayons that are blue and they look like they're black. So I like to test my first. And then a blue. And a lighter blue would be good, but um, whatever you have is good. Careful, the are we making the table shake with our art? Yes. Yes. <laughs> okay. So we're going to start with the orange. So grab your orange crayon. And the first thing we're going to do is draw a circle. Rudy, will you shut the door so then we can pull out some shadows? There, oh, that's a little that's bit better. Dark. Should draw on the lights? No, because we don't want shadows. Okay, so draw a circle just like that. And don't worry about making it perfect because we are going to um, draw over all of this. Um, then draw like another circle oh, do that kind of comes off it. Actually, you don't even have to worry about making it light because we're going to color dark brown and black over this. And then you can do another like kind of fat oval right here. It's okay. You can just make your bear go to there then. And then in the middle of this first circle right here, we're going to make another circle. And see how it's not right in, it's not centered. It's kind of off to the left a little bit. Oh, well, um. It's all good. <laughs> it's all good. And then on the top of that, see right here? See how it's it's actually not the top, it's just like a finger's width down. I'm going to do a little rectangle shape like that. And then right here, see the top of my circle right here? I want you to do a little circle there, and then a little circle here. And then we're going to give them little bare eyebrows. So do like a little... Bare brows. Bare brows! Nice. Do a kind of tilt. See how my ovals are tilting in like that? Make a tilted in oval. And again, it's okay if you mess up because we're going to be covering over most of this. Um, okay, and then his ears are going to be like right here and right here. And then we're going to draw the middle of this rectangle, that's his nose. We're going to do like that right there. And we're going to make this bear have a big open mouth smile. So from about this point on those curves, do a little, do a little open mouth like that. And then um, we're going to do two triangle teeth. And then he'll have some little, you can just draw little circles right there for his front teeth. And then right here, that'll be the bottom of his mouth right there. 
Nice. Okay, now you can kind of look at your bear and you can see it's starting to look like a bear with um, kind of haunted eyes right now. Um, so I'm looking at mine and I feel like I need to make this ear a little bit bigger. Let's see, I'm making that line right there just a little bit bigger. So it's okay if it's not perfect. Like now's the time where you can kind of make some adjustments. You want to come in. And, like I want to make him a little bit fatter right here, so I'm going to make that a little bit bigger right there. Mm -hmm. And then right here, make it look like kind of a shark. Like yeah, like he's a big fat bear. Okay, and then I want you to grab, a, uh, it can be a Sharpie or a black marker or like a Crayola marker. So watch me first, okay? Um, I want you, in this little circle right here, we're going to do a little highlight. So I'm going to first do a little circle like that. And then do another one on the other oh, side. It's okay. It, it doesn't matter what angle, as long as it matches in each eye, it's fine. And then around that circle, I'm going to do another circle like that. And then I'm going to color this one in, but I'm not coloring in my highlight. It's difficult because I can barely see. <laughs> You're a real trooper. Oh no. Oh no. There, it's great. And then right here on the top of his eye, see how we drew this little eyebrow oval? Mm -hmm. I want you to just do a line just like that, like on the bottom of the oval. If you need to readjust where the line is, you can. And then from that line, then we'll make the circle that goes around his eye. Nice job. How's it going, Rudy? So far, so good. <laughs> like, kinda Do you want a minute to catch up? Um, yeah. <laughs> We'll just sit here and watch you. No pressure. Beautiful. Boom. Boom. Done. Okay, so right here for his nose, that's the next part we're going to color in. Um, if you feel like you want to sketch it in crayon first, you can, because we're going to do a little circle like that and a little circle like that. And then it ha might help to have that line right there. But if you feel like you just want to go for it, that's fine too. So I'm going to come around from this side, and then I'm going to connect my... When we color it in, it's, he's going to look a lot like a pig right now. Don't freak out. We're going to change that. And see how I haven't really traced the top of his nose? I'm going to leave it. I'm not going to trace that in black because I'm going to want it to look like a highlight. And then I'm doing this line right here, so it kind of comes up like that, no. the line on the bottom. So just like an animal crossing mouth. Like an animal crossing mouth, yep. Nice. Oh, that one, that did not work very well. <laughs> okay, and now um, from that middle line where his mouth goes up, we're going to do... Oh, I almost fell. <laughs> <laughs> this is not like a sport drawing lesson. You shouldn't need a... Oh my gosh, my brain has stopped working. What is that called when you are in a movie? A stunt double. You don't need a stunt double for this art lesson. Okay, so I've made this line right here. And then this line, because my bear, his head's kind of at an angle, it's not exactly the same. But these bears you guys have drawn kind of straight on, so that that works too. Don't even worry about it. Okay, do you remember the big triangle teeth we had down there? Mm -hmm. We're gonna kind of draw over those. And bears sometimes have really dirty teeth, so it's okay. Um, my bear kind of has a half black tooth. It's okay. Oh, though. <laughs> that's cute. This isn't really my style, so it's kind of hard. That's okay. It's I think you get points for trying. Then right here is the um, where the top of the tongue is going to be. So just draw like a little line 
across right there. Wouldn't you want to go like down. that and then down? I mean, really, it's your drawing. If you want to change it a little bit, that's fine with me. And here and here. And then I'm just doing a little bit of a line right there to show his gum. And then we're done with the pen. So now take your black crayon and we're going to start to add in um, some dark. So right here on his nose, before you start coloring his nose in, draw a line like that across. And don't draw any black above that. And then just kind of shade that in with the black crayon like that. So that will stop him from looking like a piggy. And then right here, this is the shadow inside his mouth, so I'm going to color that in. And then we, um, we're going to start adding a little bit more shadow too. So remember not to color in your little highlight circle, and it can be kind of hard with crayons because they're not very sharp, but very, we're not going all the way down, just under that eyebrow line. Do a couple lines of black right there. If you just look at my See, Are you having trouble see. seeing all the way over here, Rudy? No, just a little bit. You can, you can look at me. So look at this line right here where I have the ears. This is just kind of our guide. If you want to change this, it's okay. So I'm going to start right here. And then I'm going to kind of, from that space, shade out. And kind of, I'm not going all the way to the edge right here. I'm just kind of filling it in. But, so as we're shading, we're also showing the texture of the fur now. Then I'm going to do the same thing on this side. And if you need to twist your paper around to do this, that's fine. I'm not going to because I don't want you guys to have to try and follow me sideways. I made mean, one of my hairs too long. It's okay. It just makes them look furrier. Um, let's do this line right here under his chin, where we had um, drawn that, so that'll kind of emphasize his chin. And then from that line, it almost looks like we're drawing a beard, but this is just supposed to be a shadow. And on the side of his mouth, you can do a little bit extra black like that. And that'll really emphasize his bare smile. I, yes, I'm going all the way around. Sorry, I got distracted. It happens a lot. Um, under his eyes, I'm just going to do a little tiny black line like that. It almost looks like he has bags under his eyes. Just like me. Maybe he just woke up. Oh, are you having a tough time? Yeah. Listen, shelter in place is rough. Okay, and then where we drew his, his luscious neck fur, I'm really going to emphasize that. Sorry, we're shaking our video. Oh, these look really good, you guys. Mm. And it's okay if your um, fur is kind of a little bit all over the place, because it'll just make them look fluffier. Um, we don't want this to actually look like a goatee, so see how Riddy kind of drew hers down a little bit? That's perfect. You can just kind of blend it a little bit. Oh my gosh, I'm, I keep almost falling. <laughs> <laughs> this is a dangerous video for you. I think I'm going to do a couple lines up the side of his head just to make him look really furry. But I'm not going to do any on the top because I'm going to leave that for shading. Mom, I'm drawing on your table. It's okay. This is an art table. Okay, so um, now grab your brown, and we're going to add a little bit of um, a little bit of brown on his tongue, which sounds weird, but we don't want his tongue to be like super bright pink, so that'll tone that down when we put the bright. So um, just like when we did the top of his eye, make it darker right here, and then you can kind of lighten it up. 
Um, and then right here under his nose, I'm going to go like that and it'll make it look like there's a little bit of shading. Yeah, good. Do that on the other side too. Okay. Okay. And now you can take a pink or a peach. I think I'm actually going to use both and fill in his tongue. Peach, 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 peach. <laughs> and because we put the brown in, then it's not super, super bright. Okay. The table is shaking so much. There we go. Okay, and then um, if you have this tan, you can use this tan. If you want to wait for the tan, you can, because I can only find two tan crayons. Right over his eyebrows. We're going to do a little bit of tan. And then um, don't color in this part of his nose right here, but you can do the rest of his snout like that. And I'm actually going to... Taking a load off, Gigi. Yeah, it's actually getting the table too much. I'm sorry. Okay, let's change our setup. Here you go, my love. Go ahead and color it in. Don't color in that part of his nose. That's the highlight. Dang it. Dang it. It's okay. Not a big deal. Uh, again. Okay, then take your blue. If you have a light blue, I think that looks a little bit better. Um, draw a line just above the black line and then leave that part white. It'll make it, his nose look like it's nice and shiny. And I will share with you if you want. Then you can take your brown and color in his eyeball, but remember, don't color over the highlight circle. Leave that highlight circle. Like I that. I colored over the highlight circle. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay if you colored the highlight circle. Your picture is not ruined. You want to draw? Did you know that sometimes you can scrape crayon off your paper with your fingernail? Oh, but that just kills me. But that me sound, inside. that sound is not great. Yeah, no. Okay, now you can take your dark brown crayon, Gigi Boo, and color over. Looks like a dog. All of his fur. Maybe <laughs> the dog is coming to say hi to him. Yes. Have you guys ever seen a bear while you're camping? Uh, no. <laughs> I drew a standing dog in the background. <laughs> so take your brown and just keep, don't worry about making this like perfectly coloring it because like the scribbly lines actually look like fur. The brown is very, very dark. My brown's pretty light. He's gonna be, um, a light bear. No, you know what? He's gonna be, he's gonna, gonna be, be a black bear. He's gonna be a hybrid of a grizzly bear and a polar bear. Did you know that black bears, most of them are not black? Yeah, they're all brown. Like but yeah, brown. some of them are even cinnamon, like red colored. Oh, wow. Oh, my goodness. It's shaking so much. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry, guys. Now he's got two different textures of hair. He's got that nice, kind of smooth hair and the very rough, shaggy hair. Look, I have to sharpen my crayon. Oh my gosh. This is making my wrist hurt. Oh my gosh, I'm going to give him bangs. Yes. I mean, he is your bear. Let's 
Look at his bangs. Uh, where we did the black underneath, then it looks so nice when you color the brown over it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh look, I think I colored too dark with my orange. You know, my um bear likes to dye his head a darker brown than his body because really? sometimes his foundation just doesn't match, but it's okay. That's okay. So I'm gonna take my black now. You can keep vigorously coloring. I'm gonna take my black now, and I'm just gonna. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just gonna emphasize this line right here. You're real loud at coloring. <laughs> I'm doing a little bit around his eyes. Oh my goodness. Oh, guess who gets to clean the table after this? Not me. Oh, that's not true. See where my orange lines were? I'm gonna fix that by just going over it with black. That actually is really cute, honey. That's I know like, you're getting very uh, spastic mine, with your coloring. Mine has kind of like a jung jungle book bear where he has a big forehead and little like, maybe it's not the jungle book. It's something, but he he's like a cute little innocent bear with a tiny head and little bangs. <laughs> I don't remember. It's, it oh, was, like that one place at Disneyland. Yeah. Oh, Uncle Shay's going to be so mad that I can't remember what it's called. Star Wars. Not Star Wars Land. <laughs> not, not so much that one. But Chewbacca. Let's make a dog orange. <laughs> This terrifying dog. Pink highlights. Make sure everything. So, is Gretchen, if you want to tie yours together, you can take the tan color and you can. Uh, wow, look at that. Oh, wow. <laughs> I'm going to do the same thing with black, but not so crazy. And see how I'm making some of my fur lines go in different directions? Oh my goodness! Gretchen is so excited about art today. She elbowed me in the boob. And then when you guys are done, sign it with a pencil. Because uh, if you sign it with a crayon, it doesn't look quite as fancy. Put it in the corner. And then write the year. Done. Is your name Hee Hee Man? <laughs> <laughs> 100 million? 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 I don't know. That's the date. <laughs> you are living way in the future. Boom. He's, he's going to be a cute, lovable bear. So we'd love to see your bear if you draw one. And uh, Jesse Beck students, we're so sorry that your annual art show got canceled. Um, and we hope that you have so much fun doing your at-home I Spy art show. I know that the neighbors will love seeing your pictures when you hang them up in your window. Girls, what do you want to say? This is Hee Hee Man's brother. Perfect. Okay, say bye. Okay, bye. bye.